Hi everyone and welcome to New Every Day. My name's Carrie. And my name's Jen. And have you ever had to be honest with someone over a really tough situation and it just breaks your heart because you don't know how to say things? Honestly, Jen, honestly. do we have to talk about this? Honestly. <laughs> this is New Every Day with Jen Wagger and Carrie Webb. everyone thank you for tuning back in to new every day and we're honestly going to talk about another communication life hack from the book of proverbs about being honest and telling the truth and sometimes it's just not fun oh it is so hard to be like truly honest sometimes and what's interesting is one of the ten commandments is do not lie yeah and we often um you know now, men, it might not happen as much with you, but when the ladies are trying on clothes, or maybe it has happened to men, but and they, the, the lady comes out and says to her husband, So what do you think? What do you think? Does this make me look fat? And the truth is, it does. But you would never say that to her. Yes, that makes you look fat. I want to know. Because then... That's why you shop with fat. friends. I am fat. He just told me I am fat. I wonder if he thinks I'm fat all the time. I am fat. I'm going to have to lose weight. I'm going to have to go outside <laughs> now. Oh, I, I can't go out in public. I'm done shopping. We're just going home. Because <laughs> that's the way our minds think. It is. You're just totally histrionic. Everything's blown out of proportion. But okay. that's why you shop with friends. And you ask friends honestly. So I got a new pair of glasses. I was like, Jen, what do you think of my glasses? She's like, I think you look like my grandmother. <laughs> do you remember that? Yes, because it was only this week. It was so easy to remember. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to be grandma. Hey. So I'm going to be a cool grandma, and that's I'm cool with it. These are not those glasses, by the way. In your case, you're wondering, those glasses don't make her look like a grandma because these ones are <laughs> But one day you will see them. These aren't the grandma glasses. But, <laughs> but what's interesting is that style is back in. Yeah. And so, but the but first But she time wasn't up with the time, I so she didn't know. I saw those glasses was on my grandmother's face. <laughs> And so that's why when I looked at Carrie, I went, wait a second. I first saw those on my grandmother's yeah. face, and she's old. But this is a new style. Yeah, and they're all you know back what? In, she's just I'm trying just to backpedal, and to there we go. You know what? Should we take a break now? <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. But it's like, it was one of those moments where I'm thinking, do I be honest and tell her? Now, there have been times where I've come out, I'm wearing something, and Jenna's like, that's really not good. Do you always wear it like that? So my, okay, my mom came home <laughs> with a short haircut one time and she asked my dad, like, what do you think of this? Oh. And dad was like, oh no, she's like, do you like it? And he's like, do you like it? <laughs> Which so is there was a whole do. lot packaged up in that question. It was, honestly, I don't like it. Yes. Anyways, what do you do with that? That's a whole other conversation that... I don't know. That's that's superficial stuff. But Proverbs 15 is Proverbs 15:4. Okay. I have New King James and it says, "A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, mm. but perverseness in it breaks the spirit." Yes, and so uh, mine says, "But a deceitful tongue crushes the spirit." Mm. And because the tough thing about being honest in communication so we've already two weeks ago we talked about the importance of listening so to be able to listen to that person to wait till they finish the sentence and then last week we talked about kindness mm -hmm. and the importance of asking the holy spirit to wrap around our words so that there's truth and love and so they're received well uh, not for necessarily so you know we get our way but when words are wrapped with control and manipulation, then it feels really awful. But when things are wrapped in kindness, then it's for the good of all those involved. Yeah. Because when we choose to listen, when we choose to be kind, um, then it can help us in being honest. Because those are the, our first two motivations are to listen. So we're, we're going right. to seek to understand by listening. Yeah. But then secondly, we want to be kind. Yeah. Because honesty then comes because something is up. Yeah. And 
it needs to be fixed. And if yeah. you aren't honest, then things can just yes. go on and on and on. Because you can say, well, does this bother you? Nope, it doesn't bother me. I'm fine. And But the truth is, that person isn't fine, and, and they've been ruminating. Yeah, and kind of on the flip side of that, you know, maybe not being honest with the other person is um, I know and I think I've probably shared it on the show before is that I have the greatest propensity to be dishonest when I'm afraid that the truth is going to make me look bad mm. and I'm going to be perceived poorly by the other person and maybe lose credibility or like lose a a friendship or lose some kind of dynamic within the relationship that's going to be in the end harmful to me so it's really it's it's a selfishness and it's a fear thing mm. and um, Proverbs 26 28 says a lying tongue hates those it hurts and a flattering mouth works ruin mm. so like if I'm lying like I'm trying to preserve myself but I'm not loving them I'm I'm hating the other person but we can, I can, I can do all this mental gymnastics that says like, oh, it's actually better if I just, you know, trot around the truth and it doesn't, it doesn't work out that bad. And oh, I can even feel the same feelings that I, when I've done that in the past, I can feel those same feelings even now. And I just, I'm like, that's not my, that's my old self. And I know I always say that, but I want to remind myself that I don't have to walk in that way anymore. That when Jesus says he's the truth, and he lives inside me, he can equip me to speak the truth and be honest. Yes. And and also, I also think, Jen, that I don't, or bleh, it's sometimes awkward to be honest about the wonderful things about people. Okay. Because how, in, in that, how readily do we give an honest compliment? Probably not as frequently do you know what I mean like if God sees this person and he he loves these attributes about them I also want to be honest and like building that person up like building up other people and not building up myself as much right do you know what I mean see I it's kind of a roundabout way but like yeah see I some more honest communication often find it more difficult telling someone what they're doing is wrong. Well, yes, or that's not true. <laughs> that's so also we're true. We're going to pause and I want you to think about that for a moment of when have you struggled with telling someone something that's really happening, mm. but it, uh, <laughs> you know? You got to so. be honest. Whether you shop on ThinkGeek, GearBest, B&H Photo Video, eBay, or Amazon, or even if you want a free trial of Audible, you'll find the best deals and support the shows we produce by simply visiting the shopping sites you already frequent by using the links on our website. Visit Category5.tv slash partners for the full and ever-growing list and help us create more free content like this show. Thank you for shopping with our partners, and thank you for watching. Hey, and welcome back to New Everyday. Thanks for staying with us. Um, if you go to our website, neweveryday.tv, and click on our Partners tab, you can see the organization's businesses that make this possible. You will be supporting Category 5 TV, and we sit under the umbrella of Category 5, and they make this show possible. That is so true. So we took the break and I said, have you ever had to say something honestly to someone and you just didn't know how to say it? And so I've we, honestly just avoided it. Okay. Because I'm a pastor and I'm the high man on the totem pole, which often <laughs> makes me think, that just means I'm at the top of the ladder. Or really- Like the buck stops with you. Yeah, the buck stops with me. So often it's like, well, could you say something to them? Or I feel the responsibility mm. that I should say something and I'm like, that you don't want to pass the buck to someone else? Yeah, because that's not fair. Passing the buck to someone else when it really is your responsibility to say something is not fair. So you're not being kind. Hmm. Uh, so I have had to say something like this. I need to have an awkward conversation with you. Like, do you preface it like that? Yes. <laughs> 
because that way they know mm. that this is awkward and I really don't want to say what I'm about to say, but I know I have to say it. And it's actually turned out quite well. Okay, because they're prepared for the awkwardness. They're prepared, because actually then I have a little bit more confidence to say, because you know what, if I have, <laughs> and I don't, if I have a problem She's carrying pointing it, at we me. just talk okay. to each other. We don't have a middle man. <laughs> Not usually. But let's say. Hey, Shelly, can you text Jen? She's in her room right now and just tell her yeah. how angry I am. Because what happens is if something honestly is wrong, like with Bob, Carrie, I know we're having a problem with Bob. This yeah. is what the issue is. And we are in agreement. And then we're like, so are you going to tell him? No. Are you going to tell him? No. I don't and then we'll be I like. I know. And the thing is, we will let the situation with Bob go on and on and on. Because neither one of us has the guts to be honest to say mm. what you're doing is not right. See, even there, I was like, mm, what do I even say? Because we don't want to hurt the other person. But yet, it says, you know, when we don't speak honestly, we actually crush that other person's spirit because they think what they're doing is perfectly fine. Mm. And a few weeks ago, Carrie, and this is, this is a simple uh, example, but Carrie was about to leave the house and what she was wearing was not exactly the right combo. And so I simply said, is that, like we said, is that what you, is that how you normally wear that shirt? And she said, well, actually, no, I wear something else with it. I'm like, yes. Cause you better change. And she's like, I should change. And I'm like, <laughs> yes, you should change. You're not representing well. <laughs> but we, we know each other That's well enough said. that, but even then it was so awkward because I'm like, I, it's for her betterment. But then that's a, that's a trust thing because like, yes, it is you know, trust I'm thing. your friend and, and I'm going to say, yes, tell me the truth. Yes. But right? some people, times people don't want to hear the truth because that means they're going to have to change or what they were once doing. They're not, they can't do anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's like, it is hard to be honest. It's hard not to, mm. to, I want to say, cope the truth. A little bit yeah because we don't want to hurt the other person and so we just we let things carry on and the thing is you could have yeah. walked out that door and made an impression on someone that you did not want to make and I've done the same thing too where I've walked out and Carrie's like mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. and it would have been very easy for her to let me go out the door because she didn't want to say anything and then I would have made an impression on someone and that I didn't want to make and then you know they're thinking about me in a way that they shouldn't be thinking about and I'm seeing just I could have just been honest right off the get-go and but it's so hard because yeah. we don't want to be rejected for being honest and we don't want to hurt see we think we're hurting the other person but really we're protecting ourselves yes oh that just felt really awful <laughs> I think it's so true we're protecting ourselves yeah and I, and I appreciate in, the, in Proverbs 15, 4 that says, a deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. And there's another verse that says, um, the spirit of a man can sustain him in illness, mm -hmm. but a crushed spirit who can bear. Yes. And like, I, I don't want to be responsible for crushing someone's spirit. I want to speak words of life. Like, a tongue that brings healing is a tree of life. And like, life. a tree actually like supports other people. So like if I am healthy and speaking honestly, and I think, what do you think about this, viewers and Jen? Like does that actually start with being honest with the Lord? Yes, and being honest with yourself. What do you mean? Well, why do I want, why do I not want to say something? Because will that reveal something about me? Does that, if I say something, then that means I'm taking responsibility for what I'm saying. So does that mean that mm. I have to man up? <laughs> And do something now if I say something mm -hmm. or do I need to repent of something because I let it go for so long like that's part of the problem why I think we're not honest because then we have to take there's an obligation there's an obligation so it's like when your friend comes out of the change room and you look at her and you go oh yeah you're fine because as soon as you say oh, no you need to change then and if she says well would you help me find something that was like man <laughs> I really thought we could be done with this by now, and now I, because I was honest, it's gotten me into so much other problem. Or, or it's like if you've just witnessed an accident, hmm. now you're if you give a statement, now you're committing yourself to 
walking with that person through because they could call you in as a witness, right? Where it's sometimes easier just to walk away and not say anything. Yeah. But you're not being honest. You're withholding the truth. Yeah. And, and that's something that's so important to remember. By withholding the truth still does not mean that you're being honest. Hmm. Right? We often think, yeah. if I don't say anything, it'll be okay. And it's like, no, withholding truth that needs to come out, you're still being dishonest in a way. You know, I can think of an example in the book of Acts when Paul confronted Peter, when Peter, he like refused to yes. eat with the Gentiles. Galatians. There you go. Yeah. He refused to eat with them. Yeah. And Paul was like, I rebuked him to his face out of love because yes. he knew that what Peter was doing wasn't in keeping with what the best Jesus had planned for this awesome family called the church that was going to integrate mm -hmm. all the people groups and this little seed of segregation could just destroy that so out of mm -hmm. love he rebuked Peter and I, I think that's where the wrapping up in kindness in choosing to be honest comes Jen is that the ultimate good of Paul intervening there was for the healthy proliferation of the church and and for Peter as well to experience the fullness of the love of God and what he was doing was going to hinder that yeah and I think as we begin to close up uh, today don't turn off your TV or your internet <laughs> or your iPod iPhone Galaxy whatever you're holding whatever you're holding um, the key to, to speaking honestly is actually asking yourself through the power of the Holy Spirit is, am I, am I willing to receive honest communication? Mm. Because if you aren't on, ready or willing to receive honest communication, then you're not going to give it. Yeah. And, That's a good point. And so, because sometimes we can just sort of close ourselves off and, and not want to hear the truth. And so then we aren't willing to give the truth either. Mm. And so that's that's a God moment. That's a Holy Spirit moment. That's a dear Jesus, please help me to be willing to hear the truth, mm. to receive the truth, to make the changes that comes from hearing the truth. Because it says, and then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. But if we aren't actually willing to receive the truth, then we can't truly be free. And, and so, it, so right. often we think communication is well. I'm going to tell Carrie the truth so she can be free. But then the. But really, it begins in our own heart. Mm. Am I willing to receive truthful communication? Am I willing to make the to receive that truth and make the necessary changes so I can truly be free, or do mm. I just want to live in my own little world filled with lies and untruths? And just try not to stir the pot, but then you're forever stuck in mediocrity. Yes, and you're actually in chains because you've yeah. bound yourself. And I don't want to live that way. Mm -mm. If there's a more full way to live, if Jesus said, I've come, you have my life to life to the full and walking in truth, then that's what I, I really want. Yeah. Will you pray for us, Jen? Sure. Dear Lord Jesus, help us to receive truth. Help us not to be afraid to receive truth. Mm -hmm. Because we truly want to be known. Truly want to be accepted. And that comes by receiving truth. And when we receive truth about ourselves, then that actually helps us to be kind to others in sharing the truth with them. And so, Father, help us to communicate well, both to you, to others, and to ourselves. We pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for tuning in. Honestly, we're really grateful. Yes. And we're going to see you back here, same time, same place, next week. Cheers. Unless you're going to be at a different place, then that's okay. We'll meet you there, too. See ya. <laughs> Because what happens if they're in the car? It's fine. What happens if they're at a coffee place? What happens if they're at their mom's? What happens if they're having a Bible study and this is what they're watching? They just turn on the cellular device. <laughs> Catch a new episode of New Every Day every Friday morning at neweveryday.tv. We're also on Kodi, Roku, Plex, YouTube, and Facebook. Or if you're in Southern California, tune in every Sunday morning at 6.30 Pacific on Channel 33 Television for the High Desert.